And I know we've seen this before, I just want to take a moment to go back over this. If uh, you're new to building and uh, what you expect to see in the terminal while things are going on. Notice here we've got uh, in Nugget and Upward, so Nugget, Oreo, Pi at this point, uh, you're going to see a uh, percentage of build complete and the number of tasks that have been built and the number of tasks that are remaining to be built for this, uh, this device, this tablet, this phone, and for the build that you're doing in particular. So that's really handy because you can see that and you know how far along you are. If you're building for Marshmallow and Down, you just kind of have to guess either looking at the output folder, uh, the out files to see what has been built so far. And as we see each task is completed, this line here doesn't change anymore, whereas in the old uh, Marshmallow builds, we saw each line progress one at a time, slowly going up in the terminal, and your terminal would just scroll by. Here, the only things that uh, get put out into the terminal is warnings, errors, debugging, or information that, uh, that you somehow need to take note of. So this is very helpful because you can scroll back through and see, wow, we're not far from the top of where we started except for uh, 1,122 tasks have already been completed. And before, that would have been 1,122 different lines of each task that went by. So this is fairly helpful, especially when you're looking for errors and things like that in these newer builds. It just makes it a lot easier because the log is a lot cleaner. Um, however, just to uh, take a brief moment to go back over what are these 1,148 tasks that have been done, what are the 34,110 tasks that still need to get done. And I know we've talked about this before, so if you've seen this in some of the other videos, you're welcome to just skip by. But uh, if you're new, and this is kind of what this is geared for, is those that are new to building Android, this is what's happening. When you set up that build environment shell what you're actually doing is going to this build folder and you are setting up this environment setup shell and we'll just open that with gdit real quick or gedit and what that does is it sets up your build environment it gets these tools ready these following functions are added to your environment it sets up uh, where the head of the uh, directory is um, almost like making a root it's a root for the build but almost like making a root for the for like if you're familiar with ch root it's not doing that it's just similar to that process where it's saying hey this is going to be the beginning of this path for building and then it sets up some of the tool chains and everything and uh, and gets it ready for you to call those functions like lunch brunch or those ones so when you call brunch for instance and you say you want to build the JF LTE XX the international version of the Galaxy S4 what it does is it goes through all the devices anyone that matches the description of what you said you wanted to build in this case we have it right here and it's looking inside this lineage.make file which will open here with gedit and it says is there a lineage underscore JFLTE XX and here it is it's like oh that's me that's me and so since it's declared that this is me it says well what's in this file what am I supposed to do and it says hey look in the device Samsung JFLTE XX folder and follow the commands that are in the full build make file as well as look in the vendor CM config common full phone make file and build those things so the um, best explanation that I've uh, seen and used so far is the domino effect. If you've ever played with dominoes, you can set up your dominoes and you topple one and the next one falls over and the next one falls over and the next one falls over. But you can also make a fork or a Y or a, even a you know three or four way fork where as the domino falls it knocks over several other dominoes which then uh, start new paths. And that's what's happening here. So it says, hey, go to that full JFLTEXX make file and do that. So this is one path right here. 
and in that path it's saying hey go to the target source directory go to the product full base telephony dot make and then also go to device samsung jflte xx device dot make and run those things make sure you set these flags when you do it and so already our fork was two paths and now it's forked to um, you know adding two more paths to that and so uh, we've added essentially another fork off of that so we've got three paths going and we haven't even chased down this other path yet so three paths are going so it's saying okay go to that product um, directory and it's uh, actually going back down here and saying where is the product directory and building that full base telephony.make and then it's also saying make sure you build that device.make so we'll open that real quick and we see oh okay while you're in here I want you to go to these two places so we've got three forks going on now we have four because this path continues going to jfgsm common vendor dot make and then this path continues going to jf common jf common dot make uh, which is actually back in this folder so the you can see how the forks just keep spreading out and each one of these forks will go to a different thing uh, and we'll I think here's kind of where rubber meets the road so to speak where we actually start adding some things in but all these tasks get added to the list of things to do tasks like pro product copy files we're gonna copy this file from here and put it in there and we're going to um, add these audio packages so if that package doesn't exist go ahead and build it is there somewhere that you can build this package look through all the files and see if that exists and essentially that's how these tasks get added so this is a task adding snap this is a task adding this camera dot MSM 8960 this is a task adding this copy bit MSM 8960 so it goes through and it sets up all of these tasks and it says I'm gonna put all of this together and I'm gonna put it somewhere and that somewhere is in the out folder actually you can technically specify somewhere else to put it but the default is to put it in the out folder and so it goes through and in this out folder there's some things that are built for the host common things Linux things uh, and then there's some things that are built for the target which the target in this case we have common targets things that are common to all phones and things that are specific for our product of our JFLTE XX and so we go through there and you see these things are getting built and as these objects get built they start filling up these folders and as these folders get filled up we get more and more material and then in the end its final tasks are to take all of that and put it together into uh, images and then to take those images and put them into an OTA package <clears throat> excuse me so that's what's going on behind the scenes that's what's happening and uh, hopefully that was instructive and helpful and showing you what's going on during the build.